Day 2 Jeju. Let's go! Hi guys, this is day 2 of my Korea trip and spoiler alert, there are no updates on watches today. Uh, essentially, I didn't get to see any shops or find anything. La. But uh, I wore my Saboma, which is my uh, homage to the uh, Richard Mel, and kept efficient time for me. So I'm very happy with what I wore today. Here are some snippets on ahead with the plane that I took. And as you know, Singaporeans like me, uh, hardly do we ever go to the tarmac right, to board the plane. So it was quite a nice feeling and I took advantage to take photos. And usually they'll chase you away, la, but this time around they're quite nice. They didn't chase me away. So it was a nice flight uh, and we touched down, I got a rented car and I drove on the right side of the road for the first time in my life. And uh, we just got a car which is uh, a left-hand drive which is uh, something different from Singapore as well. Yeah, so uh, wish me luck and uh, I'll be driving off with my wife. So let's go! Woo! Thankfully, no accidents and I drove safely as possible. And I think in Jeju Island itself, I, we haven't explored yet because we just arrived in the late afternoon. Uh, I haven't seen any watch shops yet, but if I do, I'll report it, don't worry. What I can say is the food culture is really alive and well here in Jeju and as well as Korea. We saw a very nice uh, beer place. It is a, a crafted beer, so we couldn't resist from queuing up and get ourselves the beer. I got myself a peanut butter dark beer and then my wife got a uh, interesting tangerine one. I hope to report somehow on watches soon. Alright, so take care and I'll see you.